have it then. Oh, oh. Shows anything can happen in the championship. Just such a try first half. Of course we concede. Will history repeat itself? Yorkshire takes on London, Tigers take on the Rangers as a team battling for promotion to the Premier League takes on a team looking to survive a relegation scrap. Today will be loud, scrappy and certainly a difficult game, but can the Tigers get all three points and push up to fifth and five points away from seventh? Yes, today is massive as Hull City take on Queen's Park Rangers in the 20th round of the most exciting, most competitive and most hectic league in the world, the EFL Championship. Now, I'm absolutely buzzing for today. The last couple of years as a Hull City fan have been very weird because two or three years ago, you'd go into every game thinking we're going to get absolutely battered today. But now it's who are we going to batter? It's just so exciting these times as a Hull City fan. We win today, we go fifth. We've got one of the best players of the year in our team in Jaden Philogene and I'm just so excited for every single Hull City game, not just because we're having pigs and blankets in a box and sticky toffee pudding, but because we're such a good team now. But I'm saying all of this, we cannot write QPR off because they are a fantastic team. The aura around the club now is very, very good for them. They've got a new manager. They've won two games in a row, only lost one game in the last five. The win today, they're only one point away from Huddersfield and nearly out of that relegation zone. I am looking forward to today. I think it'll be a very close match and I think whoever gets the first goal will probably nick the three points. The last competitive fixture ended in a 3-0 win to the Tigers. What a day out that was. An on goal and two goals by Aaron Connolly made sure the Tigers came home with three points. Today we're at Loftus Road, home of Queen's Park Rangers for the second longest away game of the season. That is by time, not miles. I think Swansea and Cardiff for a little bit longer. But five and a half hours on the coach is a bit rough. But we get a Mackie stop, so let's stay positive. Up them Tigers, hopefully we can get the three points and go home with a smile on our face. And it's match day. Half four start, blooming heck. Right, off we go. It's cold. It's dark, it's windy, but it's match day, so let's stay positive. Off we pop. A lovely bit of careless whisper to start the morning off. Mother, I know it's very early for this, but watch your score predictions for today. 1-1. Who's getting the goal? Um, Philogene. Oh, of course, it has to be that man, he's just, it's too good for us. Grandma, how are you? Thank you. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm brilliant. Thank you, Grandma. Right, score predictions. Good. Hull City versus QPR. Well, I think QPR might win by a goal. Um, I think QPR might win 1-0. Hopefully not, but <laughs> I think they might. Oh, dear. Hello, Grandad. What's your score predictions? Hull versus QPR. QPR nil. Hull City 2. <laughs> Go on, Grandad. Woohoo! I'll tell you what, we haven't seen a single car behind or in front of us, but we've seen plenty pass us going opposite direction. What's that about? Now then, Lewis. It's warm. Blooming horrid weather. No McDonald's, KFC shut, Burger King shut. Subway it was. Officially 24 hours since I last slept. Oh, sorry, guys. Still an hour off. We're in London. Yeah, Soon, hopefully. I'll tell you what, it's a fair walk to the ground. Right, I'm going to be honest. This vlog may not be up to par with me other ones because I've just been, oh, I'll put it briefly, I've been very, very sick on the bus. But we'll keep marching. I feel a bit better now. Well, there it is. I actually really like this stadium. It was one of my favourite away days from last season. Nice. Right. There we go. Let's have a look through there. Lovely. This is ideal. Now look at that for a view. It's actually a lovely, lovely ground. Good view as well. Right then, Lewis. Score predictions, mate. 2 1. Who's getting the goals? That's the city, right? Yeah. That's hard. Finish Ian Watson and cheer for them. Fantastic. What a fella. I'm going to make this really, really quick. It's been such a rush to get in. We've been feeling very ill, but we're here. It's a beautiful stadium. Absolutely buzzing. Very optimistic. I'd usually do a big run, but it's about 10 minutes till kickoff. 
and I'm scared I'll muck up. Here's your lineup to take on QPR. What a game! In goal, be. right in all stop. Today's right back and captain Louis Coyle. The two centre backs are Jacob Grees and Sean McLaughlin. Left back Cyrus Christie. In midfield, Scott Twine, Jean Michel Serry, Adama Traore, and Tyler Morton. And up front, Liam Delap and Jaden Philogene. Right then, Reese. Big game. What's your score predictions, mate? Three one QPR. Uh, Ilias Show two. Linden nine two one. And for all City will score first. Philogene. I'll even see a goal for sitting. I do find it incredibly clever what QPR have done. Making sure everyone sits in the right seat. Spreads people out. Not as good atmosphere. Helps the QPR players. We'll give it a go. Well, the Tigers. Well, here we have it then. All City take on QPR in the 20th round of the championship. Some atmosphere. It's soon filling out. Players will look out for. Ilias chair. No explanation. Too good for this level. Premier League footballer in a couple of years. Played in the World Cup. Incredible. Magician on the ball. And off we go. Come on, Jaden. Oh, he's too good. Jaden Villagene, man. It's just a pleasure to watch him every game. We should be paying extra just to watch Jaden Villagene. Please stay. This goal is coming. Billy Jean's looking deadly as always, but linking up with Louis Carl, finding the right pass, and we create an opportunity out of nothing. I'm loving it, it's really out. Could be a goal fast if we work things right. I can't see a thing what's going on. Well in. This is so far. It just hits. What a player, arguably him and Jaden, best players this season. Oh, not like this. Sean McLaughlin! 45th minute, one minute added on. At least we get to see City shoot towards us. Not a lot going on. Shows anything can happen in the championship. When you thought going into half time would change things because of such a dry first half. Of course we concede in added time, we always do. Changes the entire complexity of the team talk. But fair play, Chris Willock and Ilias Chair are incredible. There's no denying it. And once again we concede an absolute wonder goal to QPR. Let's try and stay positive. Christie's had the game of his life. Genuinely he's been incredible, but that's the only positive I can think of at the moment. I just want to go to bed. Now we have it half time. Four. Oh, very far. Look, I don't even know what to be. Well, it's. Yeah. Get a baby twine going on. Well, Connolly is coming on. That's a positive. I, just, I don't even know what we can do. Because we've got such a good team out. And it feels like the longer away game in terms of distance, the worst we play. And it's probably just a weird coincidence. Hopefully, second half, we have to stay positive. I am going to apologise, this vlog isn't what I usually do. I've had a problem going on this morning, and I'm not very well, I apologise. We're up the Tigers, come back. 
as old as possible. Of course you can, mate. Alright, boys. <laughs> Welcome to the Tigers. Second half will be at back. Boy, You're on. Inspirational. They wouldn't let me inside on the back. Well, you haven't missed much, mate. I'll be honest. What flag was it? I did not see one too far. It's gonna hit me right here. Ah, oh, dear. Well, enjoy the second half, mate. Yeah. And the Tigers are out with the second half. Adama Traore comes off. Aaron Conley comes on. Out of all the players, I did not expect Adama to be coming on. And it will be Liam Dela to take kick off of the second half. Let's hope we see some improvements. <laughs> it's good in. Jaden Tilligan's coming off injured. Probably the one player that you do not want injured. Arguably, well, not even going to say arguably, our best player this season. Over oh, to the Carson. It's good in, man. Why are we bringing off a right wing technical magician and bringing on a box to box midfielder? <laughs> nice. Well, that confirms it. Regan Slater comes on. What a player. Oh Very pretty. Not a lot's going on. Nice sunset. If that section there was there, this would be an incredible away day. It's a very good atmosphere. We just can't have banter with them. Quick! Quicker! Uh, the amount of space is there. There we go. Shoot! 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 Oh, that's beautiful. Go on. A sub is needed desperately. I don't know what it is. We can never beat teams in London. Our record there is absolutely abysmal. Where respect is due, respect should be given. He's had a good game as number 11. Molly little player. Go on! No! Oh. No! Go on! Scott! No! It seems like every shot we have is through to the centre of their goal and straight to us near Degovic. But it's looking promising. Pen! Pen! Does anyone have a pen? I don't know. No! No! You are a fucking embarrassment! I can't! I can't, man! I spent 11 seconds godlessly looking everywhere trying to find an answer for what's going on. The inconsistency may call us this season because we aren't going to get another Liam Dillap or Tyler Morton or Jaden Philogene again. We need to cherish them. And losing games like these, the silly mistakes, could dent our playoff hopes. Well, no one's coming on, so yeah, we're all right. Go on, go on! Oh! Is that in? Well, it, it's not in, is it? Seri comes off, Ozan comes off. I think we can have a comeback here. Let's stay optimistic. Two goals by Ozan. And Conley to finish it. Have a shot. It's the worst thing that can happen. Shoot! Shoot! Falling. Falling. There you are. Hit this. Go on. Even though we got plenty. Oh, lovely! Oh. 
but at least we got to see a nutmeg. Go on. Ilias chair, Chris Willett come off. They deserve a round of applause, they were good. They deserve to be playing. I'm not going to say Prem football just yet, but high end championship, promotion chasing championship football, incredible. Ilias chair just wow. Right, with many negatives, you can say one positive. Tyler Sellers Fleming makes his all city debut. Big future. Harry Vaughan comes on as well. I'm trying to smile for it. I miss Calvin Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> That's just Sean McLaughlin. Ooh! Seven minutes. Come on! Hey! Mauled by the range is brilliant. What you want to hear? We've got players like Aaron Connolly who mindset wise and vision wise are excellent and they're making the runs but no one's passing to it. The players are giving everything. I'll just start Harry Vaughan and Tyler Sellers for me. They're giving 150%. I don't know. Didn't get a Mackie stop. Mauled by the Rangers. He's going to throw that on the pitch now, yeah. Oh man. Well, that, that sums it up. We'll see when we get home. I'm speechless. I got it. Well, 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 we've just got home. <laughs> Dear. Hull City nil, Queen's Park Rangers 2. I'm trying to stay optimistic. At the end of the day, the better team won. We got dominated and Chris Willock and Ilias Chair are just fantastic. I would just like to apologise about today's vlog. It's very short and it's not up to the standards that I'd like because I'm not very well today. I don't know what happened. I mean, I struggled to sleep at all last night. In fact, I didn't sleep at all last night. I get on the coach and then oh, I just feel awful. But I felt a lot better in the stadium. It was a lovely little day out. Got to meet some incredible people, have some good times with me mates. And at the end of the day, it's such a pleasure getting to watch Hull City. Really is. Up the Tigers. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. It would genuinely mean absolutely everything. It's been a true pleasure taking you to Loftus Road to watch Hull City versus QPR. The next video will be on Wednesday night as Hull City take a trip to the Riverside Stadium as Hull City take on Middlesbrough. That should be an absolute cracker of a game. Thank you. Up the Tigers.